Most people don't know about the rich dinosaur heritage of New Jersey. Paleontologists do. If you ask a paleontologist in France or New Zealand, they know about the New Jersey fossils. Uh, but soon everybody will because of this museum. Dinosaurs are first discovered in the early 19th century in Britain. They can't really tell what they are because the remains are so poor. So they get that name dinosaur, which means terrible lizard. They're not lizards at all. And then in 1858, the world's first nearly complete dinosaur skeleton is found 11 miles from here in Haddonfield, New Jersey. When visitors come in, uh, um, they will be introduced to three immersive galleries. The first is Dinosaur Coast, and then we go into the Monstrous Seas Gallery. And what's really special about this place is that everything you see in that gallery is something that was found on the property in a layer that's literally 65 feet beneath our feet right now. And then we go into where we are here, the Hall of Extinction and Hope, and we lay out the series of events that, that were precipitated from that asteroid impact off the coast of Mexico, 1,500 miles from here, that wiped out the dinosaurs and really made the modern world as we know it. What we're doing here with the exhibits is we're using our knowledge of deep time of the Earth's ancient past to contextualize our present. And so we go forward here into the other side of this gallery where we lay out what's happening today with the climate crisis and the biodiversity crisis. And then we give people reason for hope and ways to act because hope without action is really just despair, I would say.